Hello, welcome to Day One Patch Podcast, episode 272. I'm your host, Ryan Johnson. Adrian Petty. Hi. Matt Lawrence. What's up? And Martin Isaacs. Hello. Back from the dead. Back from the dead. That's not yeah. funny. To, that's not <laughs> nice to joke about. It's Ryan. more more real than it usually is. <laughs> oh yeah. Currently have a thing strapped to my chest right now. The arc reactor, you called it. Yeah. Wait, you, what's going on over there? It's like a. Oh my god. A meter thing. Oh Jesus. My heart starts acting up. I hit this button, and it doesn't help me. <laughs> it just it just makes a note that I'm dying. Oh what? Yeah. What's going on over there? I'm not even sure. Like. I'm not even 100% sure this thing's on. There's, like, no lights on it or nothing. <laughs> oh, I can yeah. just wear this for two weeks, and I'll take it back, and then be like, oh, we didn't switch it on right. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh we forgot to put in good batteries yeah. before you left. You just shower with that on, too, and everything? Mm-hmm. They had to shave my chest to put it on, oh. and that guy did a horrible job, and it's just itchy, and it's horrible. <laughs> with a shitty hospital razor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, I got he didn't it. Give a fuck about I've, I've got it. I've got boxes of that if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so many of those in my possession. Oh, thank you. I remember Kevin Smith when he had his uh, heart attack. He said they had to go up through his crotch, and so they had to sh- they had to shave his his pubic hair. <laughs> <laughs> they had to do what? They, they, apparently, to access one of his veins or something, they had to go up his uh, uh, up his crotch somewhere. The shortest route. I, I don't know. I don't know where the where the, where the artery was. Just took the scenic route. <laughs> Ugh. What did he have? Like a ninety percent block or something like that? Some oh, crazy, really some crazy number. No, nah, then he's probably gonna die soon. He, and it was like only 20% survived like that amount of blockage or something like that. So, yeah, he was lucky. Then he lost a bunch of weight. Is that because of the health reasons or because he's healthier now? What? That he's lost weight. He lost weight because he had the heart attack. It scared okay. him. It, it scared, scared him. him yeah. It. Yeah. It's a great story. You can watch it on Colbert. Colbert like asks him like one question and then he talks for the rest of the 10-minute interview. <laughs> That's good. Uh, some top top stories today. Uh, GameStop is not doing too great as usual. Uh, down, down she goes. The holiday season was not a boost for them at all. Um, PlayStation will not participate again in E3 2020. Uh, this was actually very surprising. Uh, sources tell Kotaku that Horizon Zero Dawn is coming to PC, and we also have delay season starting with. Uh, Cyberpunk and now Marvel's Avengers being delayed oh. until September. Oh, so uh, what's new, Marty? Uh, you're gonna love this. Mm. I am almost done the first Uncharted game. You've actually been playing it. <laughs> I started it yesterday. And you're almost done. <laughs> it says I'm eighty percent done. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> it's a very short. It's, game. it's similar time when games are very. It, it probably is like a ten, twelve hour game, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm noticing this. It's well, it's. It came out in 2007. Holy a lot fuck. of those games that came out then, when you look back at them, they were like barely anything. They were just ideas, really. And mm. then the sequels, the real games. So right. I think Uncharted 2 is going to be the real game, the real Uncharted. That is everyone's like peak Uncharted game, yeah. Because it, that's one. F- that's that's one I remember the most. Mm-hmm. I'm really surprised to see them 80 percent done because it feels like I'm still in tutorial mode. Oh wow. Although it just like there's random difficulty spikes in this game, it's really bizarre. It feels old, but it looks nice. Do you you know what the rule is with uh, Nathan and his his super awesome luck? Oh, he's not. He's never shot. He's his luck's running out. Yeah. or something, right. That's yeah. in this game. That's that's that's, 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 that's the whole oh, thing. That's that, the way they justify him being like shot and not actually reacting to it. So mm-hmm. the bullets are technically missing him. And when he finally dies, it's that's like one, one bullet got him. That's the uh, one that got him. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I don't. You don't really need that. It's just video games. Like, why not just say, "Oh, that's just video games." But it's like you can't. Yeah. There's no health. You're not picking up health. Right. You can't even sprint. No. You can't crouch. That's weird, man. No. You can't crouch. Well, you can. You can do. Hi, you can hide behind barriers, but you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Is that in the first game, or maybe that's only in the later I, games? Maybe. I, I don't think you can l- actively crouch in the later no, games. No, you can't. Yeah, I don't think you can. But you can, you can, you can get behind around. the cover. Yeah, you can yeah. duck behind cover. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 But, like, I can't sneak into that cover. I have to run standing up <laughs> to get to it. <laughs> yeah. So there's not much stealth in the game at all. Um, It's okay. It's old. It's very, like, you go and stand in front of the puzzle, and then the characters tell you what to do. Mm. Oh, well, something's going on with that statue, Drake. And then, and then, uh, and then you see like the one asset just like clearly different from the rest of the seat, yeah. the rest of the background. You're like, okay, that's gonna move. And then they have like the hint icon come up in the bottom, right? 
I feel like the writing hasn't quite taken off either. It's very like simplistic. Mm-hmm. It just feels like a first game. Yeah, for sure. But I like it. Well, I hope you get on to the second one because yeah, that's a, that's a that's a pretty great game. Well, like if they just they go as easy as this one was, like it'll be easy to get to the second one. Do you th- like? Do you think the the charm and the success of Uncharted was um, Nolan North? Like, if you put anyone else in that role, do you think this would have would have been as popular as Nathan Fillion? <laughs> he did that fan video uh, yeah. like last year. He sounds and acts like yeah. it. it's messed up. I think he's a big part of it, but I think it's the all the characters together that that the, Sully. that sells me on on the franchise. It's the genre. It's just like. It's like Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More like a national treasure. <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> Which uh, th- the third mm. has just been rumored. Yeah, but national treasure was too silly, though. Like, this or sorry, silly. no, sorry, no, too serious. Like Indiana Jones is is a little bit more lighthearted and serious. Like, like, like Nathan Drake was the one that you would dodge everything and everything's coming crumbling behind him and he barely misses it and then you just like look. He's like. Oh boy! Like I almost got trapped in that. He just kind of moves on with his day. Mm-hmm. When, I don't but, think when I don't think Nicolas Cage would have done that, something like that. But you got your your Sully guy with you, the old fella, and he only says two things: oh, "I get some of that gold. I need to get paid, <laughs> and I bang a lot of ladies." That's the only two things <laughs> he talks about. Did you get the one line from him? Uh, oh, I'm sweating more than a hooker in church. Yeah, <laughs> <you get> that <laughs> one. <laughs> that was her favorite one. Sully's great though. Uh, but other than that, I gave up on Sekiro. Yeah, that's that's uh kind of sad. But I'm I'm watching Dark Souls three videos, and I realized I bought the wrong game. You bought the wrong game. There I you go. The uh, I should now play some Neo. Oh my god! I have the first one. Yeah, it's on yeah. Uh, yeah, it's oh, on PS Plus. PS Plus. Yeah. Yeah. The second one's coming out soon, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And what's good about that though is the areas are separated. Like it's not a continuous linking of areas. It's actually a big overworld map. And you actually like it's it's almost like Mario. Like you actually just go into right. the area and you okay. load in the map, and then when you're done, you're fine. Then you exit out and you go back to like an overworld map. Okay. So you don't actually have to like navigate from one area to another. You just go back. Hey, Adriano. Hi. What's new with you? Uh, I forget what I. Um. Hearthstone. <laughs> uh, Overwatch. <laughs> the rest of Battle.net. Um. Are you still playing? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. No, yeah, you don't have to finish it. Okay, no, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever was going to follow that, it's just no. We should get on to Diablo, though. Yes, I know some, my buddy Brain wants to play Diablo. The he first just, one? Yeah. He keeps on bothering me to play it. Um, Wait, so you're you're done with Vampire? You're not doing it? Oh, no, I'm still playing Vampire. But the problem is, though, is I, always, I only ever want to play those in, like, I want to dedicate a day. Like, I, I only ever want to play the game in 12 to 15 hour chunks. So, 12 to 15 hour chunks? Yeah. Last time you said eight hours. Now it's twelve to fifteen. Yeah, Jesus. like like I want I want to etch out mo- like I want to dedicate a whole part of my day to that. Holy cow! Wow. And it's hard for me to get those. So like this weekend, I know I wouldn't be able to do it, so I'm not going to touch it. But um, no, I'm still playing Vampire. Uh, I started playing Forza Horizon with my nephew because I pay for fucking Game Pass, and why not? Um, some Gran Turismo still. There's something else I'm not remembering. But I'm sure it will come to me. Matt? Here's a storm, probably. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not on that right now. I, I retired. That was the game I was going to ask about. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Is the game still around? Yeah. 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 It, Sadly. What do you mean? In what? It, in, in its last <laughs> dying No, <laughs> it's not going. They're still the felt. All they said was that they're done with, uh, with the tournament. The they're done, ma- they're done making, making it, it good. Sounds like, it sounds like if, if you had to make excuses for your game, <laughs> it's already done. It's already dying. <laughs> Go. Play Sig. Fallout 76 and lose progress on that, man. <laughs> you only lose progress in 20-minute chunks in that game if it crashes <laughs> at the wrong time. So let's 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 calm that down. Uh, but no, I've been playing... Um, hmm. Sorry, Dead Cells. I got back into Dead Cells. Uh, that oh, wow. was the other one. Wow. Best game I've ever played. I don't know why I didn't remember that. You've been playing like the same three games for years? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty gross. I'm yeah. an easy man to impress. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing a deep dive into Gone of War. You've been Ooh. loving it, eh? Yeah, it's pretty good. I take a lot of pictures. I'm addicted to the photo mode, uh, should, as shown by start, our Instagram now. You should start submitting them to, like, PlayStation has, like, um, photo mode, like, contests every week or something like that. You can submit it, and they'll, they'll post it on their social media and stuff. We were trying to do that for, for Days Gone, remember? But yeah. I was posting it on the wrong day. I didn't realize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you were posting Days Gone on the wrong day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, but yeah, I've uh, I've gone pretty far in God of War. I think. I think. It's a pretty hefty game, actually. Like forty hours, I think, if you're just flying through, but you're stopping to take pictures every two seconds. Well, I like I was telling Marty, like I went into this one area that I thought was so like the more of the world opened up. I'm trying to be in, intentionally ambiguous. So more of the world opened up, the the Midgard area. And so I was like sailing around in my boat doing like the side stuff. And then one of the things like one of the areas I kind of like opened up went down this like stream opened this big door and I thought it was the main story but I went down the wrong channel and ended up going into this area for like four and a half hours like ripping around like oh wow like and it was all side stuff because when I went and I pulled up to it it was like hidden area discovered and I was like what the fuck like Mm. so I was like great so I'm not gonna be in here for (laughs) there like I'm out in the woods I think I said I think I texted you at like four in the morning I'm like I'm fucking out in the woods over here like (laughs) (laughs) but yeah so Here's, here's a question so Midgard, Earth is in Midgard, right? Is the Earth realm supposed to be in Midgard? It is. It's it's they're one and the same. So does that mean that Kratos, who comes from the Greek mythology, all those Greek gods are in Midgard? Mm-hmm. How does that work? There's only no. Is are they? Are they on Earth, or are they, or is that like another? Like, well, if it no, well, if it's if it, if Greece exists, it's probably another. Is that where they are though? Yeah, it's probably they're not in like a place. Well, like, they're on the top of Mount Olympus. Can you just get there? I don't think so. Kratos I mean, gets there somehow. No, well, like o- obviously he does, but like he's. I mean, he, I don't really know what happens God. in the other ones, but like he, he's like kind of on the run, kind of in hiding in this game. Yes. So. He would have probably done something crazy to get here. Do I don't know. I don't think he's on the run. Do you know anything about the old games? Not really, other than the fact that he ripped off ripped off Hermes' feet. I think you're you're missing a lot of history. Oh, you played the other ones? No. Oh, I watched videos after. Oh, okay. After I beat the game, you're playing. Oh, okay. I don't think he's on the run from Greece, but I think there's nothing there for him, and he doesn't want to be reminded of it. Well, because like, and so I think he left and went to Norstown. Well, Odin is like the king, yeah, of Midgard. Oh no, oh, no, he's the, just the king of all. The king of all. So, what realms. my question is: Is there another whole, like, not a realm, but like a whole other like pinnacle of realms? If that makes sense. So, like, you like Greece is like another whole area, and it can connect to a bunch of realms as well. But Greece is on Earth, is what I'm saying. I don't know if Midgard's Earth. I wouldn't know if I would say that. Are they realms or are they planets? Like no, this, no, no, no. This is what I don't get. No, like so they're 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 definitely realms because they occupy the exact same space. They said that, hundred percent. So like longitude and latitude, if you were to like take it down to that, your longitude and latitude is well, identical in the same talk, spot. You're talking about realms in God of War, right? Yes. But like you have the realms, and then you have Greece, which is like it's not a realm. Wait, no, wait. That makes sense then. Actually, if all the realms occupy the same space, Greece is probably out. Like way out, somewhere. but it's in Midgard, is what I'm saying. What you can access <laughs> Greece in Midgard. Can you? That's where it is. That's if it's on Earth, that's where it is. No, I don't know if Midgard's Earth is what I'm saying. No, no, like it's definitely Earth like, but then again, like the Fire Realm is just sort of like near a volcano on Earth. Kratos couldn't walk to Greece from where he is now. How did he get there then? Exactly, so we don't know that's that. a mystery. We don't know how he got because wouldn't Odin. Like you guys think he got there intentionally too? Yeah, I mean, I would assume. I I don't know though. But he started a new life there. Be- yeah, because he's there. He could have accidentally ended up. Yeah, there. That, that that that's pretty fair. As he's well. a god though. I don't think he could just accidentally end up there. Yeah, he's he's yeah, he's on adventures and he just ends up places. So actually, here here's a question then. So okay, this- well, I don't think he. Are you saying that? He could have just stumbled? been like, oh, I stuck, got sucked into a portal, and now I'm in this world. Hmm. So you're saying he left Midgard, or rather Earth, yeah, ended up in the Norse mythology tree of realms, yeah, and was just on Midgard in that new realm, yeah. Okay, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Matt. Well, that and uh, that and Red Dead, or yeah, Red Dead as well. Doing a fair bit of that still. Some big old games. And I well, I finished. I'm I'm max rank 
in uh, all my all the roles on Red Dead Online now. Do you guys play a lot of Red Dead or something? Jesus. So the, we we were talking about this. The PlayStation had like a report that came out. You could go and claim like it was like a celebration of the end of 2019. You can still you can still do it right now. Yeah, you can you get like a free theme and a couple avatars and stuff like that for free. But it gives you like a report, kind of like your gaming in review. I got I got Red Dead. I'm pretty sure in the in the fall. Could have even been November. I can't remember on PS4 because I bought it on sale. Something like that. I bought it in the fall. It's my number two game of the whole year. Overwatch was mine. Oh, yeah. Fallout 76 was mine. Sadly. Mine would be Overwatch for sure. It will tell you if you log in. Yeah, you just, you just got to log in. And then it tells I played you. a fuck ton of The Witness, though. And Bloodborne. I don't know if you beat your Overwatch. <laughs> Although it's just 2019. It's not... Yeah. It's not forever. I played a lot of games last year. Last year. <laughs> Sounds so far away. We're already halfway through, more than halfway through. I know, I January. know, I know, Pretty I nuts. know. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Red Dead too. Um, I'm not sure how we got back into it. I think Aaron maybe just kind of inviting us to play and stuff. Yeah. Going to get that Red Dead on PC, right guys? And play with me when, there? When the price is low enough, yeah, I'll buy it on PC. Yeah. You're not going to play online. I, I would if they fucking had crossplay. <laughs> I don't think you would play online. I don't, uh, think, I don't think you would like it. We had a big old posse that one night. There yeah. Six of us. Yeah. That was a lot. And now yeah. Roxanne bought it. Yeah, Roxanne bought it, yeah. And oh she bought God. she got PS Plus too. Yeah. Oh my um, God. But like, do you, do you think Adriano would like it? Like we just wander. Like there's no like. Adriano loves that stuff. Here yeah. to here to here to here. Yeah. To Specifically here. the online, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you don't like the online. It's boring, right? Like, like yeah. there's, there are main missions, but it's like six missions. How like, similar not. is it to us doing shit in The Division though? It's about the same, I'd say. Uh, there you go. Except you got to ride everywhere, right? You gotta, I do that anyways. <laughs> I don't believe in fast travel. No, but hang on a minute, though. The Division has very long missions. Yes. Red Dead has like six story missions, something like that, maybe eight, oh. that are very short. Some, some oh, there's, there's an actual story mission? Yeah. Oh, a, then I then I would just do that. And but then, then you'll be pro- done in like three hours. That's fine. Just Sometimes they'll do a mission and I'll be like, all right, where are we going, boys? And then they'll be headed, headed back. <laughs> like they'll be done. <laughs> like that's just how it happens. Riveting. <laughs> They're like really fast missions. Some of those things. Yeah, it's like show up here, kill these ten guys. Oh look, we killed this bounty. That's it. That's what I mean. Like I don't know if you would enjoy it because it it's like doing um, encounters in the division constantly. I'll, g- I'll give it a go after I'm done uh, writing that on. PC. It took me a while to get into it. I thought it was pretty boring, and it still is boring. But now that I'm making money. It's a little more fun. Yeah, like if you like set up your own little businesses, like that's what we did. There's like three or four businesses you can set up. You just do that bounty hunting or like hunting and like trading furs and shit. Gotcha. The problem is you have to actively do stuff. And the problem is that when we're in parties and stuff with a bunch of people, not all people agree on what to do. Aaron's off managing something, you know. And so we kind of just sit around doing nothing a lot of the time. Yeah, there was there was like an hour and a half period last time we played where like I was just sitting there. Yeah, see, I, I was see that that would woods. fly. I don't care what we do, but we would have to do something. I make, we'll make there. you posse boss. All right, done. I like when they do bounties and they just go to shit. <laughs> and people start escaping or people start dying. Oh, our our one bounty was horrible. Yeah, that oh guy was just God. in the water drowning, tied up. <laughs> oh, it was terrible. And then and then like you picked up a guy. We had an extra guy. <laughs> we had an extra guy somehow. It like, wasn't part of the bounty. That was so fucking weird. Well, like, who's this guy then? I don't know. I'm <laughs> shooting him. Bounty dead. I was like, like what? Yep. <laughs> and then we only got like one of the five because we because the timer ran out when I just like ran the one there. You ever seen that episode when uh, of The Office when Michael is following his GPS and it he, it tells him to drive into the water uh, and he just yeah. he follows it. He just drives into the water. <laughs> That's exactly what we did. <laughs> we did that in Red Dead with a fucking prison wagon and all the prisoners got out. Yeah, it just told us to drive into the river, and so I did, and, and we were just underneath, and then all the prisoners just jumped out. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a disaster. Did it fix itself, like the GPS, or just still just why did it? No, it just kept wanting us to go through that. Because <laughs> usually the GPS is pretty good. Like it'll, there's some areas that are clearly horse trails, and you can't get a wagon down there, so the GPS will tell you like it'll it'll reroute. But for whatever reason, it like routed us through here. So technically, if the water was shallow enough, which it kind of looked like it was. We would have been able to get through it, but it was just like, <laughs> oh, look, there's a little tiny river. Oh, <laughs> shit. Like, like. That's fantastic. All right. Uh, other than that, I don't think I've been playing anything else. 
getting ready for that Overwatch three week Lunar New Year event. I was getting ready for Cyberpunk oh. in February. Well, that's gone. That was coming out next month. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Oh, that's horrible. Um, so let's hop into the stories. Uh, GameStop. Bad news for them. This last holiday season did not do any favors for them. Um, so during the nine week holiday season, they were down more than twenty five percent from twenty eighteen. That's a pretty big jump in their. Sorry, what was it? The sales from from 2018 to 2019 were down 25 percent. Okay. For the holiday, the holiday season. The whole year, oh, this holiday season. Yeah. Um, one of the problems they're running into is the everyone knows the next console's coming out, so people aren't buying a lot of consoles. Some people might be waiting on buying even games because they want to get them on the new next gen consoles. Right. So there's a bunch of factors happening, plus the overall decline in just retail in general, and the digital trend of games. I liked going in there a lot this Christmas just because they have so much junk in there now. And yeah. Just like little something, little Sens- doodad to buy somebody. The sensory something. overload in there. Yeah. It's funny, though, that that stuff isn't like boosting them up. Is it because it's... I don't know what, why. I don't know. Do people just not buy as many toys as they used to? No, it's just kid, kids are not interested in toys anymore. That's why it's what happened with Toys R Us in the States. They want video they want, games? They want electronics. Well, it's funny, though, is every Twitch streamer has like a wall of toys behind them. <laughs> so. The, it was those loot boxes things they were buying oh yeah i forgot about those yeah things. didn't one of those companies go under loot crate did loot crate's gone I, well i think it might be still alive but it went it was having some serious problems i don't i didn't understand their business model it's like we're giving you 50 dollars worth of goods for 10 dollars a month but usually how they swing that is they tell the guy hey instead of you selling this individually for five dollars like it's worth give it to me for me give it to me for 250 but i'll buy a hundred thousand of them it didn't work. No, no, no. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> Were you saying the PS5 is like backwards compatible? I think it's. I think they've confirmed I think, that. I yeah. think they're talking about it. And to be even if they didn't even mention it, it would be fucking insane for them if they didn't. If they want to really put the shovel into the ground for their own grave, they wouldn't. They would go against that. They need to do it to to stay to stay ahead. I think it is though, because I think it's gonna it's gonna be based on the same architecture. Yeah. Um, and so di- it, digital kind of begs for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If they if they don't, they're fucking done. They're I don't know how they would not be able to survive in the in that market. It brings up the question though of like, is there going to be PS five type games that look better or probably do something? Probably, yeah. I was wondering if GameStop would have a deal where you bring in your old console and get like a hundred dollars off on a PS five, and then you could just keep your old games and then. Probably. PS5. Yeah, because they did that deal last gen. You if, could trade in your PS3 and get like a hundred bucks off and your then go in there PS4. And buy a PS4 for like two hundred bucks used. Yeah, and then but that's assuming. So I'm sure the digital wouldn't be an issue if the PS5 has a disc tray. Then it doesn't have a disc tray. Then you. Can't it does have a disc tray though. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. But if they don't fucking do that, they're dumb. But did you hear the you know the rumor with the Xbox One X series. Series X. Series X, One X, <laughs> Xbox, 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 One Xbox X. Series X. Xbox Please. comes in a box. Xbox <laughs> comes Xbox in a box. In a box. <laughs> in a box. Uh, that it would have Steam and Epic Games support, so you could just play all your PC games on there as well. I, I could go for that. That would be me. I see you guys on the Xbox. <laughs> They're making it sound a little too easy. Just get an Xbox. But I want to play God of War. Oh, it's, oh, it's okay, because we got news for you. <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn is coming to PC, which right. means there might be other PlayStation. Uh, oh, and I mean, I'm not in the story yet, but it said they might come to uh, Steam and Epic Games. So if you can play those on your Xbox, you can play a PlayStation game on your Xbox. There you go. Are they going to lose? They're going to... Sony? Uh, wait, wait. If if, it, if this thing's running like dual boot, like we assume it might be, and you might be able to boot into the full Windows 10, it can might, you imagine it remote, might... remote playing your your games? It might it might not be <laughs> that would be actually really good, cool. <laughs> but it might it might not be dual boot though. They just might have a dedicated executable for that. It yeah, might just yeah. be might be just a, like a custom OS that runs Steam and because they already have they already have like well yeah they already have game mode too though. It could just be like an app. Yeah, because because people well people do that now with the Steam Box. People use a Steam Box to play other games and other launchers because it just it does all it does is just take your screen and just does it full screen. Yeah, yeah. There's no way you're playing God of War two on your Xbox. Here's what I'm wondering, though. Zero percent chance. I guess we'll just hop into the story now. But it was that Horizon Zero Dawn is coming to PC. <laughs> right. Bless you. It came hey. out, uh, I want to say, like... 2014? 15? Uh, it came out a few years ago. Three years ago? What if, what if, um, what if, like, they don't come out on PC day one, 
but they come out three years later. That's fine. So, like, Last of Us 2, if you want to play it three years early, you need a PlayStation to do that. So imagine this. God of War 2 comes out three years later, and you finally get it on your Xbox. Well, PC in this case. Yeah, but yeah. and then they announce God of War 3 is coming out, and you're going to have to wait another three years. Mm-hmm. They're not going to do that. They're going to go and get a PlayStation. Yeah, so it's still a reason to buy the yeah. box. I'll be there on PlayStation. And uh, I th- it might be Xbox for Blood, me. Bloodborne 2, God of War 2. That's, well, this is the thing. I think Sony's kind of secured themselves. Even though they make mistakes, they have exclusives that people want. Yeah, but the problem is, is that Sony themselves are taking a piece of it, but they're not exactly, like, isn't their big thing the box? Like, that's what's keeping you locked into Sony. If you're just, like, if you're just another software manufacturer, why well, do you need the PlayStation well, brand you you don't, attached you don't, to it? They don't make a lot of money off the box. That's the thing. No, but they that they do because they make... Like when a, when a game dev sells a game that's a PlayStation Four game, then a, there's a kickback. To yes. Sony. Yeah. So like that box keeps everyone tied together, as well as PlayStation Plus. If you want to buy Call of Duty, and you want to play online, I'm then so looking forward to the day when the online paywall is gone. I I can't see that. I I can see more being added. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're not <laughs> when you when you have 20 years of PC gaming not have a paywall. They can't. They can't up that especially if especially if the when the walls for those communities are breaking down and everything's just kind of becoming one that that paywall is going to go away there's no way that they can away with it that's why that's why they're going to work it into the game pass fee they're well, going okay, well, to hide it into that yeah but they're going to hide it but it's still going to be a thing though yeah but there's you're just not going to know about it so you would get a ps5 for god of war 2 bloodborne 2 potentially yeah what about a spider-man 2 oh yeah that's another option. A Spider-Man two would just like Spider-Man. They <laughs> they would excel on the second one for sure. They're that kind of developer. Oh yeah, I think yeah. that they're doing a Resistance. Get out of here, man! <laughs> no, if you watch their social media, they've been posting about it all the time. They have a pin now. You can buy like, some memorabilia. They also post about other games they have. But they, <laughs> no, but Re- Resistance is also super old. Why would you? Why would you post frequently? Every time I see Insomniac, Ratchet on and there, Clank is also very old, and they post I, about that. I haven't that. seen them post about Ratchet and Clank Ooh, a quarter as do much. Do a uh, do a Ratchet and Clank Sly Cooper remaster trilogy? I buy that. They did. They did remaster Sly Cooper. Yeah, they did. They didn't do a remaster? Yeah. Yeah. Or they remade it. They remastered it. Me remade it? I don't it's know. A, it's I don't a, know it's a different one, it's a different game. What, what there's they, a new Sly Cooper game that you can get. Sly Cooper or Ratchet Sly and Clank. Cooper. Those are not Both. Both. They redid Sly, uh, Ratchet and Clank. Yes. Yeah, they re they remade It's a remade it. game, yeah. Yeah. But what they did, you know, you know how they did that though, right? Is no. it's the guy telling a, a story the story About of the, the first game, so it's that's the how movie. They, Yeah, so yeah, they take liberties with it. But there's the Sly Cooper game? What? They yeah. they remastered those. There's al- no, there's also but a remaster. When? There's a remaster of the actual original Ratchet and Clank stuff as well, but on PS3. I I would love a Resistance game. I would love what? it. They're they're one hundred percent doing it. Sony doesn't have a uh, first person shooter anymore. Yeah, they, they need Killzone to went and made uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. And they need and and just so happens that when PS5 started getting announced, all this resist all these Resistance posts start coming up. That's. And yeah. all all the comments are like, please remaster, please remaster, please that remaster. Is, that is PlayStation's gears in the sense that that is a PS3 game. But they need <laughs> they. But the thing is, is they need that. But no, think they about what they did to God of War. God of War was a Gears of War type of vibe. Yeah, and not, they not they, a shooter, they redid though. it and they made it fantastic, and they could do the same with the Resistance. It's not a shooter though. What's the difference? A shooter is I don't know. They can make it more of like a, a story shooter. based awesome shooter. You know, they really could make it open world because they kind of opened up, like, if they keep the same lore, they open, like, the end of 3 has, like, a bunch of radio transmissions coming in from all over the world. You want that over Spider-Man 2? No, I want Spider-Man 2, oh, yeah. but I also want a Resistance. This guy wants Spider-Man 2 as well. Yeah, I'll play that. Yeah. I would say that... The, no the, time for Resistance. No, I'm definitely going to do that, but... They're bought by Sony now, though. Mm. Sony could pump money into them to open up another studio... Resistance is a console seller for me, I think. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Wait, what? You just heard me. You heard me say it. I said Resistance is a console seller Matt, for me. Matt, I think that mustache has gone to your head, right? <laughs> but anyway, I, I think that I think that if you do, like... Like, Spider-Man's fun, but I don't. I think I would wait for, like, another game to come out, too. 
Xbox PC. <laughs> Xbox. You just have a PC. You should just want a PC. Yeah, just do you just use your PC, bud? Go yeah. get your some RGB. Why do you? Yeah, why, why would you want a Series X? Uh, because I'm probably gonna leave when I move out. I'm probably gonna leave my PC behind as my. But device. you might as well just build a PC. Wait, this is I could. Said, I could. I could always. You, you I could jump always ship from console to PC, and then you're jumping <laughs> ship from your PC. <laughs> I could. I could also just rebuild the PC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but problem is, though, Matt, I I want to run that Plex server, but I don't want. I want it to be in somebody else's house and using their power That's and their internet. Absolutely ridiculous. Why is that ridiculous? That is absolutely ridiculous. Like I don't. I really want this, but I don't want to pay for the electricity or the internet for but it. But if I have, if I had two <laughs> other households that are willing to take it, why not? I mean, if they're willing to take it, I yeah. get that. But then that's also your gaming PC. It would I actually just, it would just, actually be cheaper for you to just build a server. I would, build a cheaper server. I I would just build a new PC mm. or buy an Xbox One X because <sighs> it has Steam and Epic Games. Series X, excuse me. Yeah, Series X. Don't get Whatever the confused. Whatever the fuck it's called, who cares? Because Xbox One X already is a product. Xbox Series X. Box. <laughs> yeah. One. <laughs> Wait, is there one in the new name at no. all? Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. I Xbox there was. Series <laughs> X. You can, you can understand my confusion. I can. It's dumb. They na- <laughs> they named it poorly. Yeah. yeah. They named them all poorly. They should have just named it the Xbox Four, for God's sake. Just start numbering them now. Th- that, if you're going to do that, they'll just call it the Xbox 2020. Or Xbox 2020. Like, literally just give it a year. The Xbox. Yeah. The Xbox. All right. Uh, speaking of console wars, uh, PlayStation is not going to participate in E3 2020. This is coming to us from game gamesindustry.biz. And uh, Sony actually released a statement that said, After thorough evaluation, SIE has decided not to participate in E3 2020. Uh, we have great respect for the ESA as an organization. But we did, do not, go fuck themselves. But we do not feel the vision of E3 2020 is the right venue for what we are focused on this year. Is that because they're not doing so well, so State of Play is cheaper, and so they don't have to go to E3 to show up? What do you mean Sony's not doing well? Isn't like Sony not doing that well? They're kicking ass. No, like not PlayStation, Sony. This isn't. This is PlayStation, though. No, I know, but like they have to like if any any dollar saved goes to Sony, which is struggling. I would assume. I just think that E3 has changed. And I don't think they they don't. But yet they're the only thing that's changed it. No, Nintendo stopped doing a they, uh, yeah, a keynote, and they and then and they, EA dropped out, and they started letting people in by the mass. They started as letting like, as a convention, not as like an actual in? thing. Yeah, like I would say the show floor has probably changed. And apparently, it's not even set up for normal people. So they just kept it the same way they had it for the press, and then average people started coming in, and it just wasn't. It didn't feel good. Their numbers are going down. So it's down just, with uh, E3 is what I'm hearing. Kill it off. No, man. Look, look, look how quickly you changed my mind. I'm sad. I lo- I loved E3. It was a great time of year, and now it's all fractured and broken. Um, but we'll probably see Sony just doing a uh, their own keynote, either at state PSX or I don't think it'll be a state of play. I think they're the, I think they should do an actual like keynote thing. I've never watched a state of play. I put them in the calendar sometimes. I, I put reminders on to alert you. I think I'm I think I'm anti like little events. I just like I just don't I don't know. I don't want to see these little fractured events. Like I either get all my news at once or I don't get it at all. <laughs> you're so you're too extreme, Matt. It's either it, one it, or the it, other. It's a little bit crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit nuts. <laughs> Almost like a fucking conservative. Jesus. Only only a Sith deals in absolute, Matt. Well, there it is. <laughs> you saw how lame the Sith were and they're blowing up bleachers. Oh yeah, so I, as confirmed, those were just like supporters of the Sith. They were just cultists. That's really sad. They were the guys who built all those Star Destroyers. <laughs> I like to think they're all Snokes. <laughs> <laughs> he just built his own <laughs> fan base. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. I love. Wait, wait, you talking about the weirdos? The like, yeah, the, all the all the Sith. Uh, the when that was the, the Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. What a weird fucking movie. And I'm not talking about Indiana Jones. I know. I'm talking about fucking Skywalker. I love how it's not just it's not just the building collapsing on them. It's like it's literally getting blasted into them. Yeah. They're just, but there, they're just there getting was, destroyed. There was no fucking effort to explain those people. They if were you, just if you listen thick. carefully to the the crafted dialogue of the movie. <laughs> you can hear that they're they're Sith worshippers. What? Yeah. What the fuck? How do, how are we supposed to? Do I've this? seen the movie five you, you times. Gotta you gotta go. Times. You gotta oh, I have to see it five that. times. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. You good have to go good five point times, you made yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> if you see it five times, you'll get exactly what we're trying to get across with this movie. I actually enjoyed subtext it. and everything. I enjoyed it my most this time. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 You're really selling me on it. It was yeah. the 4D, right? 
No, I, I just, I just, I just sat back and watched a movie. I didn't think mm-hmm. about all the other crap, all the fanboyism and stuff. I just watched it and I enjoyed it. So Microsoft just owns E3 now, eh? They just, they just win that one. Yeah, this is probably a chance for them to maybe try to shine a bit. Yeah. Um, and they're doing a good job so far. Because they're gonna so. have like the highest quality content probably there. Right? Yeah. Everywhere else yeah. is gonna be a little smaller. Man, they're gonna uh, they're gonna have a whole bunch of games again because they're they've already shown off the consoles looks and stuff. They're probably gonna have their own hardware conference where you could ignore if you'd like, and then E three is gonna be all games probably. That's the thing with Xbox. Like, what the hell am I gonna play over there? No Xbox, a- almost everything. Yeah, there's nothing to play on there right now. No, but you guys are like, you guys are dictating it based on based on uh, exclusives. Like, exclusives. God of War is like the exclusive I played, and and Days Gone. I played two exclusives this whole gen, basically. You love those games. I like them a lot. Yeah, I like, <laughs> yeah, they're really good. But what, what were what were your three top games on uh, on the yeah PlayStation list? Oh, uh, Fallout seventy six, Red Dead, and I don't remember what your third one was. We're talking about the report Modern that PlayStation Warfare? release for everybody. No, I don't think so. I can't remember, but anyway, it was it was Red Dead and, and Fallout seventy six. It was Overwatch, man. An oh, Overwatch, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so so all so three of those them, all three of those are on Xbox. Let me, let me, let me explain yeah, this though. Let me explain this though. The the PlayStation exclusives are generally single player games. They're not games you play continuously over and over again. You know what I mean? So uh, there's no possible way for me to have played God of War for 200, oh, unless, 200 unless hours you, unless you replayed it to do like the different difficulties or something. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. just not possible to be my most. And that game is game. fucking hard on normal. Yeah. Your, yours fuck. is seventy six Division two and Red Dead. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, all those are on Xbox. That's what I mean. Is like realistically, you could play almost everything, like a, like a majority of people's collection. See, for me, this as my game support that the the PlayStation argument because my third one down was Grand uh, was Gran Turismo. Oh, there you go. Eighteen hours. <laughs> that was my number three. I played a lot of exclusives. The only games I played last year were Switch games or God of War, Bloodborne. And now Uncharted. Well, you're, you're kind of going back and playing all the... The free games I have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I bought fucking Uncharted. I was going to say, and then, then Uncharted then this month. But you got it for like 10 bucks. Oh. Uh, yeah, Sony would refund me too if I got to that fast enough. Uh, Wait, what? They do what? If you contact Sony within like a few days of like a major sale and then the game goes free, they'll refund you. Oh, Oh fuck! I didn't know that. I Although it's never happened to me, but yeah. it's pretty good. Ryan, Ryan and I were so impressed with Plague, uh, pl- Plague Tale, Plague Tale Innocence. at the at the Xbox thing, or or at the at the E three awards, E three awards, video game, game awards. <laughs> right. Uh, we're like, oh yeah, we should buy that. Or then so like he bought it and I bought it, and I paid for Game Pass, and then Game Pass for PC. Like, guess what? This game's now on oh, Game Pass. Jesus. I'm like, fucking, I paid. Thirty fucking dollars for that, and five dollars a month now from here to the end of time. But this means we have Hellblade two already. That doesn't mean I'm so fucking excited for that game. I'm so fucking excited. Have you played that game? No, but that trailer's awesome. Sony oh. Sony made a big mistake. They should have bought Ninja Theory uh, years ago. They've been with them for a while. Right? Yeah. Why yeah. didn't they buy them? I don't know. Sad. Oh, it's pretty good. Microsoft swooped in. Hey, boys. Microsoft well, swooped in. Yeah. Go, you're check. whipping out here. Here to you go, a- Ninja Theory. To <laughs> <laughs> be honest, none of their games really took off on Sony. I guess looking at their portfolio, they probably weren't worth buying until Hellblade. But everyone loves their games. They just they're not huge games. Yeah, not viral plays. Yeah. It's it's like Kojima games. They're not like these. They're like viral, but they're not that like sales oriented. Yeah, everyone talks about them. But yeah, you're the only person I know that played Death Stranding. Aaron Aaron played Death Stranding. Oh yeah. I play most big AAA games though. Yeah. Unless they're scary, like Resident Evil. That's why when you were saying the other day that you don't think you're good at games, it's because you jump around. I'm jumping too much. to every single game. Yeah. I never have time to get good at one game. Cause like it took me a while to get the hang of like all my like all the moves in God of War, but you would already be done the game. Like I'm walking yeah. around taking pictures. Yeah, you got that combo where you you throw the axe and when it comes back to you, you press it again and it flies around you. I actually it just back unlocked to you and that. It keeps flying around. I just unlocked that. Yeah, yeah. that's good shit. Sony should buy uh, Remedy. Remedy. Control. They, they work too hard just to get themselves like their properties back. Oh. I don't think they're going to. I don't think they're going to let themselves be bought. But Nin- Ninja Theory were became an indie developer, and they really talked up how they like being an indie developer because they could control what they wanted to do and all this stuff. 
And apparently their deal with with Microsoft was they get to do whatever they want. Which is fine. And if Microsoft, is, yeah, if Microsoft's going to let them do that. So maybe Sony could do that for Remedy. Yeah. I think Microsoft realized they just need software. Yeah. They just need masses, mass amounts I think, of software. I think they realize that they're going to eventually become game developers and the consoles actually aren't going to mean anything. <laughs> well, uh, well, they're, they're and definitely and that's, playing both and games. That's and that's what they're planning for. And what's hilarious is they own that PC market. They're 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 really they're really putting an effort into the to the PC stuff. Pretty good. Join me on the PC boys. Get that Discord going. I have everything. Let's do it, Matt. I have like fifteen chat apps too. <laughs> let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see PC Master Race going. <laughs> uh, I hate that though. I hate that so much. Let I have a la- I have a laptop, so I'm already not PC Master Race. It's a good laptop though. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about delays. Marvel's Avengers got delayed to September fourth, twenty twenty. That might that might seal its fate for me. Every time, I always forget that game exists. It's a weird looking game, still. I always forget that it exists, and every time somebody mentions to me, I'm like, oh yeah, that's a thing. That thing is real. How much of a delay was that? September. From when though? I don't have the original. I think it was supposed to be May. I thought it was supposed to be like a May. Uh, that sounds right. Yeah, I think. Yeah, okay. September. Half a half a year. And then Cyberpunk 2077 got delayed from, I believe, February to September, late September, I think. Just to kill the Avengers? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so good. John Wick's going to come in there and fucking stomp on them. Uh, I read an article in Kotaku today, though, about how delays, like, everyone celebrates delays because it's like, oh, yeah, take the time to make a better game. Um, but it apparently just means more crunch time for the uh, de- developers. Yeah, it, do- it doesn't so. help. It doesn't help that the the follow up <laughs> to the cyberpunk announcement was the article saying how they're going to work super extra long hours to to you know. It's like you're not helping that they whole, were, that they, whole thing, that whole controversy. They, yeah, they so they made that promise that they're going to like try to make it better. Yeah, and they were asked after they announced the delay, and they said, "Yeah, there's probably going to be crunch time." <laughs> yeah, so there's crunch time, and it's a massive delay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So instead of crunch time for like a month, you get crunch time for f- for so a few months. They were probably crunching, working overtime, like crazy. Yeah. And then they said, "We still need like <laughs> a few more months Seven on this." Seven more game. months of this, boys. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know if you make a project where you just say it needs to come out this year, like uh, you choose a year, and you don't force anyone to do crunch time. Will they still have crunch time? Like, are people slacking until crunch time? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I think. Well, not slacking, but I think it's just human nature to. You always think you have more time yeah. than you actually do. So, yeah. so, my, so I guess what my question would be is, would it be more efficient, and I'm asking, I don't know, to do like mini deadlines? Probably, maybe. Well, that's, but they, that's they, they probably, probably that's do. That's probably yeah. what the workflow is if you actually look at the But then why is there a board. crunch time if they're doing mini? You know what I mean? Like why is that last one such a stretch? Some, I understand it's to make it go gold. Because we're t- humans are terrible at measuring everything, including time. <laughs> no, but that's like, what I mean. We so just you, suck you, at it. You start early and you, you, you say like, we need the concept art done in... I don't know. I don't know any of the actual time frames. Would be like we need the concept art done in one month. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's too too soon or whatever, but it's one month. Mm-hmm. And if the people have trouble, then you have to like adjust the other things. I want to know if if we could naturally release something without a crunch time. I can tell you that right now, it's never gonna happen. <laughs> but like, I don't as, I don't as, understand as why long, that is. As long as humans regulate that, it's never gonna happen. We're Fuck, all that's weird. we're always what? gonna be terrible at managing that. I me personally, I don't work until I have to crunch. But that's what I mean by it would be a lot easier on you instead of you being like, damn, we got to test this whole game to being like, oh, I have to test the cars, but it needs to be done in a couple of days. So I yeah. better do it now. So you're like stressed, but you're just like a little bit. You're like, damn, I got to do this today. See, that's that's how I would need to work. I would need someone of authority to give me a deadline on like every task I have. That's what I mean. Yeah. And then I would actually get it done and <laughs> they would have to like. Maybe that's what they did. This game's coming out in February, but really it was oh, always coming out in so September. They have oh. a game done that they're happy with, but yeah. now they're like, yeah, now we got this extra time. <laughs> more crunch, crunch, more crunch, motherfuckers, yeah. Yeah. crunch. <laughs> Don't see your families and have emotional distress <laughs> yet. <laughs> that one article that came out after um, uh, what was that last EA Bioware game, uh, a- Anthem? Anthem. That was a crazy article to yeah. read. The amount of like um, torment those people went through. I'm sorry, but this is a un- this is an industry that needs to be unionized. They need some serious fucking regulations in there. Would that... No. Oh, oh, okay. No, I have a question. <laughs> Would that raise the price a lot? And are we going to see delays of like... Sorry, guys, we had to delay it by two years. Okay. It, you, I, I'm asking. It will, I'm not, it I'm not will, criticizing. It will, I'm it will probably be the second one, and that's probably not a bad thing. Two years? Ma- a, it, major, a major it, percentage of a console's lifespan. 
that company is going to get sunk. I don't no, think it's going to be two years. No, 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 no. It might, and it might, not, it might not be two years, but there will be a delay, and that might not be a bad thing. Now, I have another question. Because then. it fucking gets delayed anyways. Is it going to get greasier? Are in microtransactions going to go up 30, 40, 50 percent? I don't think so. I think I think initially they will, but then they're going to realize they're like, oh, this this market's going to crash in on itself. So, and they're not going to. No, but this that, like like it did now. Wait, now, wait, Matt. Now, now here's see, my now question though. Why boxes. would it need a, a union instead of the mini deadlines? But Matt, what, if, what, if wait, you wait. require a crunch time, but the union would stop the crunch time, you know what I mean? Like why wait, wait, are they wait, just wait. being like, let's let's even this? Because no one wait, wants wait. to do crunch time. No one wants to do crunch time. Yes, but if I don't the it. if the if the free market could handle it. And they could regulate themselves and actually implement those deadlines if it works. Yeah, clearly they're not doing that. Yeah. So we don't then hear about you have crunch to crunch on everything, though. I oh, wonder if there's uh, there there's is crunch on everything. Crunch yeah. On everything. yeah. But these there there's I'm sure there's some indie studios and, like on on Steam, not that, just games in any industry. Also, well, gaming gaming's like a a fairly new industry, and we're actually now getting more kind of investigative journalism mm-hmm. into this industry because it's so large now. Where before it was just kind of entertainment coverage yeah. you know what i mean but now they're actually looking into the human side of it and we're discovering now that there's always crunch i think it definitely varies between developer to developer as well yeah like yeah hearing about development of overwatch they're like making that game like as they're announcing it they're not they're adjusting things on the fly mm. it was kind of crazy when you when it you got made in like a year yeah, and when you look at something like Valve, they have a rule where you can work whatever the, uh, whatever the fuck you want, whatever the fuck you want. You want to bail on a project, you want to do 100 people here, one person there, or do a split and split, go ahead. So you could see a studio there probably never has crunch time because they just don't give a fuck. So so that, that, that's the question, I guess. So like something like Bethesda, for example. But like they just only fucking games. Specifically Bethesda Game Studios, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they typically announce stuff. Well, they do. They announce stuff with a release date, at least, when it's almost done. Is that to prevent crunch? Is that them just being like? I think that's just but them like not unnecessarily announcing a game like three years in advance. Yeah. you don't need to know about. That. I yeah. think I think when a game announced like a release date is announced, it's probably the marketing team saying yeah. we need to announce it now to get pre-orders need, in to do need, all this we stuff. We need this much exposure in these markets to make sure it hits these people yeah. to hit these numbers. Like it's all fucking. There's an Excel spreadsheet somewhere that is all has all that math. Where up. they they probably should have waited to, but they to announce waited. it. Yeah. But doing that where they announce it just before they release. While there, that that may help and may prevent crunch, that doesn't necessarily prevent the other emotional distress that people will have, like inequality or you know. Um, what are you talking about now? Like just uh, just other major issues in game development, like whether it's like sexist sexism or or minorities or whatever. There are other there are other major issues in game development besides just crunch. Well, as with any industry, but I'm just talking about in terms of like. Straight up logistical semantics, if you will. Like, in terms of, like, this is how a game is made. Like, is that process broken? Does that process need to be adjusted? It's not the, the general formula. The, I'm sure I'm sure the pipeline itself is not broken. The The act of doing this first to do that first is fine. But again, as soon as you try to have humans evaluate time, we suck at it. Whatever you think you need, always add on 30%. <laughs> but We always forget about that extra 30% that we need. I guess my question, Never I, I guess my question comes down to... So I'll just use Bethesda Game Studios as an example again. If they announce stuff with a release date very close to it being done, are they announcing it at the beginning of crunch or are they do they not even have a date in mind? And then they like, you know, they check off all their boxes and their to do's essentially and they're like, oh, damn. We're at ninety five percent. Let's do. Uh, let's get the PR team in here. I don't know, but uh, and ha- then uh, like, does that prevent crunch? They must have delayed games too, though. Yeah. So at some point, Beth- yeah. But, but also, I mean, yeah, I but. But Bethesda, the, probably, but Bethesda is so big to the point where they can get away with that. They can say, we, they, what was that, Starfield? Yeah. And, and uh, Elder Scrolls Six. Yeah. They announced it. They said, that was rare, though. They, and no announcement. Here's a title no card. Either. It's done when it's done. They can get away with that. So can Rocks, uh, uh, Rockstar. Okay. But well, like, why, why can't the other guys? Like, like Ubisoft certainly could. Because because the problem is Ubisoft has burned too many bridges with too many bad games in the past and too many dumb decisions. But when wouldn't allowing you to have a more natural? Again, I'm like talking from inexperience. But wouldn't being having a natural, like thing, like warrant a better product? Like mm-hmm. you know, like when you're rushing to do anything, mm-hmm. you usually like cut a corner. You're mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm not gonna like even if something something as simple as like putting something in an envelope you don't like fold it nicely you just kind of like fucking jam it in there and you go like if you're in a rush for some reason this is why nintendo games are so good miyamoto's mentality is a rushed game 
or a game that's delayed will eventually be great. Right. But a game that's rushed is forever bad. And like they scrapped that Metroid game entirely because mm. they were like, this ain't working. This ain't going to be worth it. This is bad. We're starting the fuck over. That's good, though. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's just like it'll be ready when it's done. I wonder if movie studios should do that, though. I know they're, they're massive budgets on some movies, mm-hmm. but like they know they're bad movies when they come out. Like They knew Cats was bad. Yeah. Right. They're, they're, but they're also playing like an insurance game. They'll, they'll, make, they'll make that. They have such an insurance policy on that thing failing. They'll say, fuck it, let it sink. <laughs> that stuff well, sucks. I hate, I hate a, that shit. The fact that's that that is, that, the fact that that is a thing. It <laughs> that's the, uh, the plot of the producers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's greasy. But I, I just sometimes wish that a movie studio would just like kill a project that was bad and like make something better and you'll make your money back on, on the better <laughs> thing. Talking about New Mutants, just cancel that movie. Yeah, entirely. just get rid of it. Make a Marvel movie, that'll make a billion dollars. There you go. Yeah. What what's the money where's the, so uh, here's another question. So like a game or anything, movie gets built to a certain point. So there's there's a, probably a percentage complete where they're like, Okay, it's beyond the point of no return. Like we have to build this thing now. Mm-hmm. So the question is you get to a certain point. And you can't you can't go back. What is the point in in revealing the release date? Because you know you might delay it, and you know you have to do this. So why not just not like why? What's wrong with going gold? Like you're done. You haven't done your PR cycle, and you haven't said you're gone gold. Then start your PR for three months. While that time's running, you're maybe either polishing or doing DLC, or just feeling the market out and then releasing. Like what's the what like? I'm not going to not buy Cyberpunk because it was delayed. I'm also not going to not buy Cyberpunk if it was announced today that it was coming September and we didn't have a release date prior. Right. Like, what's the point in having that release date? Why is everyone like, oh Again, my god, I have to buy a PlayStation that day? I think I think it's the marketing team. But what? But like, is because there, when when is you there a reason when you announce a release date? Yeah. All the press cover it. Everyone clicks on the articles. They all read it. They all share it. Yeah. It's something to actually get out there for free. Why would you do it early is my question. Also, if your name's out there and you hear about Cyberpunk coming out in September, that game owns that month. Yeah. No no other game's going to want to launch next to that. That's pretty good. Yeah, didn't something move the hell out of the way of Red Dead? It was like the same day and they're like, damn. Yeah. (laughs) Is... I think... Is... Oh wait, never mind. I think are you thinking the Keanu movies? Yeah, I was gonna, I was wondering if like Cyberpunk got moved to that. Two, that so Keanu they have Ke- two Keanu <laughs> movies and a Keanu game coming out on the same day. Uh-huh. One of those movies has to budge though, I think. No uh, man, the with Ted. Uh, you won't go Bill see them both the same same day. I have no connection to Bill and Ted, so I probably won't we see that. No, 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 no. Well, it's it's John Wick and Matrix. Those four, John Wick four, Matrix four, are supposed to be coming out on the same day. Ugh. And oh they say God. throw Bill and Ted in there just <laughs> to make it a, a triple, anyways. <laughs> If it if it's the Matrix and and John Wick for I'll go see those in one day yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of Cineflex rentals for me <laughs> that's a lot of Lawrence Fishburne <laughs> <laughs> all right um, that's all I got I have a query corner all question right. we got seven minutes left excuse me it's it's twenty twenty it's the philosophical corner again Mac. oh is it take yeah. that fucking Dreamcast shirt and get out <laughs> so end of the consoles are coming. And usually at the end of the consoles, you tend to get around to games that you've missed out on throughout the generation. What are your guys' games that you're going to be ticking off before you move to next gen? Oh, wow. Or games you hope will get remastered for next gen, like Last of Us. I'm going to ignore that second part because... I don't think that applies. Like, I don't give a shit about... Because you, you, I just wait, play games you take too long? Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm still working on PS2 games sometimes. I wanna, I'm, I'm definitely going to kill off AC Origins. Like that's definitely I've already done a bunch of it, but it's not memorable. Like it's not it's not memorable enough where I can't you know like if you leave a game for too long, and then you come back you're like damn I don't know how to play this. AC like I can go back to that because it's not like super memorable and I have to remember all the, like the the intricacies of it. So, so you're like just doing origins, just origins yeah okay. But like I'm done a bunch of it. I'm just stopping. I'm doing God of War at the end of God of War. I'm doing back to origins. That's a superior game. That's one of those games you're playing is definitely a lot better than the other. God of War? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's sort of like when I when I booted it up, I was like, damn. And then I put AC Origins on hold. <laughs> so you're saying a game I missed from this console generation. I don't miss too many. I don't miss too many, so I'm, I'm having trouble What about like one. something you never got to on? Oh, you don't got a Switch. Did you, you never bought one, did you? If I bought a Switch, then I'd have a bunch of games I need to catch up. Well, yeah. you, you, never, you never beat GTA V. 
What? Yeah. No, uh, my my PS3 version um, broke, um, and I think I just stopped playing the 361. No, didn't that you, break too? You don't need to beat that game. Oh, uh, uh, my save the, broke or something like that. Play the, play the play the PC. And I might buy it on PC, but I'm, oh I don't want to. I don't. Is it worth playing? I don't know. No. I played I played the campaign seventy five percent of the way through twice, so it's just like I've oh the hell with that that's that's yeah you're yeah, you're yeah. do so. it do it and that that doesn't even answer this question because that was last gen that was uh, that was a three sixty game that's <laughs> <laughs> really old this never, doesn't apply to Square Corner want to go back another uh, or is that the same console generation. What's that? GTA Four. What GTA was that? Four and that's, GTA Five. That's part 360. Of the same I never finished GTA Four. What's that on? that's a good one. That's I never good played one. that one. That's Eric, a really good one. You know one. you know what you and Matt should do on your Twitch streams on Wednesday? Finish the games we never beat. Well yeah, but to go back and play the first GTA. Go GTA and GTA two. I have them all. GTA nineteen sixty nine, GTA London, GTA three. No, those, those the original GTA looks like crap. What, the top down one? Yeah. Oh it's great. It looks awful. Oh it's so great. Not, all the way to two is, is top down. Like two is top. Yeah. I ain't playing those. <laughs> the, the, uh, GTA three is the first three D one. You can play those, Matt. <laughs> I ain't Jeez. playing that. Holy cow! I think I'm gonna do Hitman as well. Hitman two. Ah, that's a good one. Yeah, Hitman yeah. two. Definitely. Oh, I forgot. I still have to finish that first one. I'm never gonna finish it. That's a game they could call Electric Boogaloo because that'd be fantastic. <laughs> no. <laughs> It'd work with their zany kind of style. Tomb Raider might be mine then. Okay. Definitely. Shadow. I didn't, I didn't play the second or the third one. I you have, haven't played I, Rise of the Tomb Raider. I, have, I I own them all. I have them all somewhere on either the PlayStation. That's what I want to announce at the C3. The, either the PlayStation or the PC. I'm pretty sure I have them on Steam, but I haven't I haven't played those ones. That's my remaster one. I think hmm. is that is that second Tomb Raider. I think I might eventually get to it. The remat what the the second I never beat that second Tomb Raider. I only beat the first like rebooted one. Or oh, whatever. and then I never beat the second. I think that would be the one that I would want it remastered. Oh really? I think so. Yeah. I don't because, think they. I don't because think they will, I think though. I would prefer to play them the, the the two together. Like when I get into a Tomb Raider mood, I'd rather just beat the the, the trilogy and then leave. It's gorgeous on PC. Wait, how many are there? Three. Three. three? Yeah. Okay, so I the, the two I'd like like I'd like the trilogy remastered. I think that would be cool. Um, I think. I want. I wanted fourth though. I... Well, because the first one was on three sixty, right? Yes, and yeah. PS3, yeah. And PS3, and then the other two were on. PS4. But the, well, it, the PS4 and Xbox One came out, and they remastered it for those. Uh, then there was the whole debacle where Rise of the Tomb Raider came out on Xbox only for like a year, and then it came to PS4, hmm. and then Ro- Shadow of the Tomb Raider came out simultaneously on both. Wow, I forgot that whole thing. And now I want four. But they had to go make their little Avengers game. I always forget that that's the same one. I don't know if that's a little Avengers game. That's a pretty big under. No, it was, I was belittling it because uh, I want a Tomb Raider game. You know, fat I would cat. take a Tomb Raider game over this Avengers game, actually. Yeah. I would take a TMNT game made by Rocksteady <laughs> over this Avengers oh, game. Oh, oh, fucking man. We can all be the Turtles. Let's go. Yeah, there's a there's a four-player co-op arcade Turtles game, I think. Like, like an Xbox like a Xbox Live arcade. Oh, probably, yeah. Yeah, I played that. You guys want Fire Up for 360s? <laughs> I just realized something. Like you were saying, Bethesda doesn't really announce their games till they're like 90% done. What if Except they, for Starfield. What, what if they just call or quits without ever announcing the game? Oh, yeah. Like they've probably, that, they've probably like, done it. Like that Harry Potter game. What if that's just dead? Could be dead, yeah. That's definitely not a Bethesda game, though. No. I, I'm just saying. It like, could be dead, yeah. It's just something that never got announced, but it was almost done. But then they just killed it. There's there's a lot of there's like there's a fair bit of games that get killed even when they they show off like a trailer and stuff. Just, yeah, there's like this YouTube channel I like. They like go over a bunch of dead games. Oh, Battle, that's cool. Battlefront Three. Yeah, the Daredevil game looked in, looked pretty crazy. Oh, Unseen Sixty Four. Yeah, yeah, I watched that. Yeah, it was a Highlander game that actually got a trailer. How yeah, did he find killed. those? Uh, they, they have like they, connections like, like, to like, like, industry yeah, people. Does. Yeah, they they leak. They uh. Or have you ever heard like the stories about how they they hide people the uh, d- old developers hi- like hid the source code as like a like a just a printout in like the fucking building because they were getting locked down and they didn't want to Oh lose yeah. It. So yeah. it's like, well, we fucking printed out the source code, hid it up on the roof, like in the like in the ceiling tile, what the fuck? lit it there, and then we left for like 7 years. <laughs> we waited till like another company came in, walked in there one Saturday, and just grabbed the ladder, went back in and like <laughs> grabbed the source code and we all know we have the original That's source amazing. code. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. For for what game? Oh, like some like like early 90s like game because there are games that are lost to history yeah we don't that you know they don't have the original source code anymore 
and they're like, oh yeah, like the only backup for this was like a fucking printout. And that had to be had to crazy. be like retyped by hand, but it was like it was on a major like like it was just printed out like hidden away somewhere. Yeah, I I always like too when you can find like unfinished levels or something in a game. Mm. Um, they they find they found a couple um unfinished bosses in Bloodborne, Bloodborne. and they found a whole like unfinished like section of uh, MGS five because that game was kind of cut short. Oh wow! All right? Uh, have you have you did you ever watch the completely reconstructed? Resident Evil 1.5. That is absolutely fucking fascinating because that is a game that was like ninety, like ninety percent complete, and they scrapped it mm. and they started over, which would become Resident Evil 2. Wow! And there's a completely different version of Resident Evil 2 out there. That's that's. You shared that video too of um, Silent Hills. Yeah, where the when, guy got the, into the, the town the and stuff. Of, that was yeah. cool. Those videos are cool too. Oh fuck! It's so heartbreaking to see what it could have been. There's like there's that dead Fallout 3 Van Buren. Where like they were making it before Bethesda bought the mm. legends, like they had it almost oh, done. Really? Yeah. Oh really? Oh really? That that would be cool. I think Resident Evil Seven's on my list though. Games I want to oh, get back wow. to. That looks really cool. I still have to finish Resident Evil Six. Oh my god! I'm skipping that. I've I have <laughs> I've I've brute forced my way through the three of the four campaigns. I've got one campaign left. Oh my Because it's essentially four separate games, and then they just overlap. Oh, so you're currently playing six. Yeah, I've, oh, okay. I've been playing six on and off for like the last fucking ten years. How long? <laughs> How long is that campaign gonna take you? What? How long is that campaign gonna take you? No, the the last campaign is the shortest. So when Go I fucking s- go do it, <laughs> <laughs> like do it like right now, like just drop drop everything, leave the podcast, go beat it, I and could, then you just I could, I could that thing probably, out the I could probably finish it tonight. <laughs> but I'm not. Like, what's wrong with you, Matt? I don't. I don't. Just get the check I mark, please. Things. What if we like gave you like a to do list, in, in, not in any order, but like. You go in there and it's like, oh, Rain was sick. Like, like you, you might get addicted to checking the shit off, right? Hey, can I, I, you're, you're Matt's trying I, to give you this deadline deal. Matt, can I, can I show you my Excel spreadsheet after? Is there a We've completed? Seen, I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. Seen it. Oh, I'm done. Can you want to <laughs> fucking Excel spreadsheet <laughs> that I have? Because I started it because Adrian I. Adrano's a lost cause, everyone. Because <laughs> I realized that I realized that I'm having too many games from too many sources, and I couldn't remember what like. Do I have this game? Do I have the DLC for this game? And That's I, a good question. Yeah, it's like where do I own this? So I literally started a spreadsheet and I just cataloged everything. I went through, I went to every single platform, every single console, and I literally just cataloged every fucking thing I have because it's like, oh, I have, I have this Telltale game here, but I have all the episodes on this console. <laughs> Like that, like that's how fucking complex it is now, especially oh, because you get games through Epic Games, you get free games through Steam or Humble Bundle or PS Plus or games for Gold. It's like I don't know what Google I fucking, Stadia. Yeah, like, I don't know what the fuck I own anywhere anymore. That's that, that's fair. I, one time I almost bought Pillars of Eternity and I, I already had it. Yeah, the first thing, the first thing you do when I when I go when I go look at it when I want to buy a game, I go to my spreadsheet. I see do I own this somewhere. And then I ignore it anyways because I just buy it on PC again. Anyways, fuck. So Speaking of your of the games lost in time, it kind of makes me sad. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with the movie Yesterday, but it's where the Beatles get like wiped from history. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, even if we had the collective like human minds, everyone who remembered the Beatles songs, you would never be able to perfectly recreate that music. Yeah. And it's it's like, they'd be the same with the game. Oh, like if a game died, you wouldn't be able to... The people who worked on it and knew it would never be able to fully recreate it, and you can never be sure mm. whether it was accurate to what it was before. That is sad. It makes me real sad. I have I have an obsession with wanting to archive every single thing. Uh, per, ever I, per, preserving information is something that that is appealing. Mm-hmm. Like why why ever why and like I I used to do that with especially in um when after Mohawk when I went to Sheridan and people were sending out like because we had to share a lot of our creative input so people were sending scripts or demo information or whatever and and I remember I was talking to somebody years afterwards and they're like uh. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, we like sent this, this, and this, and I and I explained them like I have all of that. <laughs> if anyone has ever sent me anything <laughs> that got flagged, that got downloaded, that got put onto a hard drive, and that is stored away, I'm like, if you ask for me for anything that you ever did in school and you sent it to me at some point, I still have it somewhere. It's on a drive somewhere. We should have a gl- global library of Congress type of deal. Yeah, just a global place where we all send our stuff to be preserved. I have the opposite desire. You want to destroy things? No, I want, like, I like watching these videos where they're like, the top five mysterious things oh. found in the woods. <laughs> and it's like, well, no, there's going to be, like, documentation of something now. Oh, Ryan left that here 100 years ago. It's <laughs> on his Facebook. He, he posted a picture. 
Like, we can't have mysteries now because everything's being so well documented. Speaking of which, I remember someone told a joke like how before, I can't remember what a comedian it was, but it was like before you'd be like, oh, here's a picture of my grandfather in World War II. <laughs> and then like, when we're when we're old, we're gonna be like, here's a picture of my, here's like fifty thousand pictures of my grandfather. <laughs> yeah, everything yeah. he did. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> doing a fucking kegger at a party. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh. all right, that's all I got. I'm going to uh, screen mirror my uh, fucking Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> oh my there's god. A, there's an Apple TV down here, right? Yeah. Here. Uh, me and Matt, we stream on the Twitch, twitchtv slash Patch Media. Gonna start that surviving the aftermath. Yeah, and uh, that's Marty Isaacs over there. Yeah. Thanks for joining Hopefully us. Hopefully, no resistance games coming out anytime soon. <laughs> what? <laughs> they lost all the source code. It's gone forever, man. Yeah. Oh my god. They wait seven. Wait years. a second. You want it too, and you're making fun of me. You're you're in my camp, and you're making fun of me. I, I of kicking you there. out of my camp. <laughs> yeah. You're out of the Wilson okay, Lau so gang. Okay. So red. I gotta get out of this podcast. Hang on. <laughs> before you yeah. Before it. before you get into literally an Excel sh- an Excel an Excel an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> We're still <laughs> in the A's. Yeah. You no. Want, you want okay. A, you want to see how many pages it is? Look. <laughs> End the podcast quickly. See ya. Peace. Okay. Peace. So.